you've been lied to by coracetin. We're usually taught that coracetin is an alternative for people who have high blood pressure that need a decongestion. Like in the box itself, they love to say this is for high blood pressure. But I'm sorry that I'm gonna have to break the news to you guys. Look at the active ingredients. There is no decongestion. But as a pharmacist, I'm gonna help you break down these ingredients. First, we have acetaminophen, which is just the generic for Tylenol, which two of these tablets is only 650 milligrams. So if you're someone who takes two extra strength tablets, this is not enough Tylenol for you. Next is chlorphenamine, two milligrams. Now this is what they're trying to use as an alternative for phenylephrine or pseudoephedrine. But this is an antihistamine, this is not a decongestant. And if you don't know, it's in the same family as Benadryl, which is a first generation antihistamine. So you gotta be careful because chlorphenamine is gonna make you drowsy. I guess you don't have to worry about being congested because you're gonna be passed out. And then we have 10 milligrams of dextromethorphan. Which here I think makes zero sense because dextromethorphan is great for a dry, non mucusy cough. And I don't know about you, but when I'm congested, I have mucus. This whole combination does not make sense. 